Hello Corpus Christi ISD parents and guardians. This video will show some parent tips for supporting your child in Canvas. In this video we will explore three areas, logging in with your child, dashboard features, and submitting assignments. First things first, you will need your student username and password. This is the same username and password students use to log in to their Google Drive. When logging in, be sure you add the at ccisd.us to your username. And the password most often at the elementary level is the three digit school code and the six digit student ID number. Middle school and high school students tend to change their password to something more of their liking. At the elementary level, if you're having difficulties with your username and password, please contact the homeroom teacher. At the secondary level, students may access their username and passwords from the my.ccisd.us website. They can claim their account and also click on Forgot Password to get a little help. If they're still having trouble, they may call Help Desk at 361-878-3900. Next, you're going to visit your school website. This is found at theschoolname.ccisd.us. Here is the example for Ray High School. When you reach your campus website, please click on the Canvas button. Once you have logged in, you will land on your student's dashboard. Success! You were able to get into Canvas. Now, on the far left, you see the global navigation. There are four buttons I like to draw your attention to. Accounts will take you to where you can set up your notifications. Dashboard will always take you to the course tiles that your student is enrolled in. Backpack will take your student to the rapid identity where they can access their digital textbooks. And the help button is very important. This is where you can find the Canvas guides, how-to guides, and videos. We are currently on the dashboard button. This is where you see the courses that your student is enrolled in. On the far right, we have the to-do list. Here is a little paper with a pencil. This signifies an assignment. So you can see there are several assignments that need to be done. This little rocket indicates a quiz. This is also something the student needs to get done. If we scroll down to the bottom, we see here recent feedback. These are assignments that the student has turned in and the teacher has given feedback. So the student can click here to see what the teacher has responded. Sometimes further down, we see something like coming soon, and then this will help the students see that these are assignments or quizzes that will be coming soon. I would now like to draw your attention to the three vertical dot menu here at the top. Currently, we're in the most popular view where the students see the course card tiles of the courses they're enrolled in. But if you click on these three dots, you will be able to see the list view. When you click on the list view, you will see which assignments are coming up and when they're due. Secondary students prefer this view as it shows a list of different things that are coming up or due or missing. And the last view is the recent activity. Here you will see a list of assignment notifications sent to your student. To get back to the card view, click on the three dots and click on card view. And we're back to the most popular view with the card tile. You're doing a great job. We're almost done. The last part is going to be how to submit an assignment. So there's two ways you can get there. Remember that we said here in the to-do list, you can click directly here and it will take you to that assignment, or you can click into the course. Most often when you click into a course, you will land on the home page, which in this case is the syllabus page. Notice you have announcements in the middle and then teacher information down at the bottom. In your course navigation, which is this here on the left, next to the global navigation, you will have access to announcements and modules. Modules is usually where you find student work. Other times when you click into a course, you might land on the syllabus page that has a choice board. Here we have choice between reading, math, science, and social studies. This is the elementary summer school choice board. Notice at the top left, modules and announcements is not um, accessible. 
this is because within this course, all the pages link back to this home page. We are not needing to use modules. This is just an exception for elementary school, or better said, elementary summer school. Once I click modules, I can see here that this is my online packet. There's content information, links, quizzes, content, and here I have my assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click on assignments. And on the student side, I see here that says I need to submit an assignment. So I'm going to click the blue button to open up my options. I need to upload my completed Evolution Web Quest document below. It says here that I can do a file upload. So I can click choose file and find the file in my device. Or I can go here to my Google Drive and it will allow me to search for the document and go ahead and select it. In either case, I do have a place to write my comments. If I wanted to give a comment to the teacher, if I had a question or wanted to be specific about some details of the assignment that I'm turning in. And then when I finish, I can click Submit Assignment. On the student side, you can submit as often as you like. If you made a mistake or forgot something, it's okay to submit a second time. The teacher will know that you have submitted two or three times. Once you click Submit, ta-da! You get confetti if you've turned it in on time. It will also show over here on the right-hand side, Submission Details. And that way you know you've turned something in. When you are done, you can click Home to return back to the home page. You have done a wonderful job. We've explored Long It In with your child, dashboard features, and submitting assignments. I hope these parent tips for supporting your child in Canvas have been very helpful. I wish you well in supporting your child in the future. Thank you for watching the Canvas Video Parent Series. Goodbye.